this thing with measurement. Up to up till um, the first three classes, I think you're working with whole numbers, things you can count. So the dragon's tears and all those things, they're discrete whole numbers. You can count them. It's not a question of halves or anything else like this. It's either it's there or it's not there. This idea and this element of counting. And you see a transition away from this already it begins. I think this thing of measurement that comes <coughs> in class three. And some of it can be left a little bit later, sometimes of class four, but measurement. And I talked about relationship that somehow this element of relationship to things is expressed in measurement. When you say, how big, okay, how big is this room? What would you answer? You can say, how big is it compared to me? Is it much bigger than me? Or sort of then, I could, you know, we could have um, people stand up. So we could have some people, we could see, right, I could do this and have somebody else come and stand beside me. See, how many people does it take to go across the room? Let's be active. Get off your... <laughs> just see. But if you could come to the wall, Kim, and then just go across and we'll see how it is. Touch, touch, one, two, touch. So you really stretch out. Bit more, bit more. You need to, there's too many. Uh, Mel Melissa, can you come away just? Away. Oh, right. We've got one, two, three, four, five stretches plus, <laughs> oh, an elbow. <laughs> you see, and then you begin to see this, you see the beginning of a fractions. You see, if we take here, now if I take halfway, or from here to here, this is called a yard. And this is called the L. This, in old terms, was called the fathom. You measured rope with fathoms because you'd pull the rope and held it like this, and then you'd take another one. And I did bring some, and I left it in my bag at home at, at uh, where I'm staying, so I can't do it. You wouldn't have any rope. Sure. Yeah, we can just, just have a look at this. These sort of, because they come out of activities to do this. And so, you see, what you're doing is you're making a relationship of the size, comparing it to ourselves. Sometimes, instead of doing that, we might say, right, that um, I might do instead, especially if you're outside, you might do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So I might say 11 paces. I can sort of an activity of us. When you're outside, often people will measure things in paces. And when you're in the army, they do the same, but they don't use a single pace. They would do this. That's by the left, quick march. And they say, left, right, that's one, two, Three, four, five, six. And when they had got a thousand of those, milli passum, a thousand paces, you had a mile. That's where the name mile comes from. It's a thousand marching paces. This is too tied together. <clears throat> so where did the fathom come from? The, the, the fishermen. Oh, just just leave those two just okay. tied together. Or perhaps make it these two ends. They're smaller and they just make a okay. part of showing children how to tie knots. And you know how to tie a reef knot. Always put this rope beside that one. Otherwise. Oh, I used to call it a granny knot, but that's not very nice, is it? So a granny knot is. So this is a, that is a knot that won't slip. 
you can take now. So, <coughs> a ship's coming into harbour. At the end of the rope, they've got a, a stone that goes down, <coughs> and when it, you can feel the weight on the, on the um, rope, and you can begin to feel when is it touched the bottom, because it doesn't pull so hard. You can feel, ah, it's touched the bottom, right. So, so then you take, it, you take it from this point, and you say, right, from here, I pull it up, one fathom, two fathoms, three fathoms, four fathoms, four and a half. Um, you know, where's the song, six fathoms, f oh, how does it go? My, my father lies, you know, sort of down. And so that's a measure way a fathom was used using rope to measure depth. So sailors would use that activity to do measurement. Uh, soldiers would do marching. Others might do, you know, different things. So, uh, no, the, for the Egyptians, they used the L quite a lot, particularly for measuring height. Do you know some other measures that use uh, using the bot uh, the, using the body? Yes. Oh, you would offer it. Yes. Um, horsemen. Do you know how they measure their horses? Yes. Hands. So they do it like this. I'm going to go down there. On the ground. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And if you got to sixteen. You had a horse, if you go less than 16, it was a pony. And it always went to the wither, that's this part of the neck. And so you measured your, and so that's, this is just using the hand. And so you had all sorts of things, you had your foot, we haven't used. Fingers of whiskey. <laughs> Fingers of whiskey, then, then you had the four inches well, actually, this, this is part, it's interesting, the Chinese inch is quite a bit bigger than the, um, the English inch. I think the Chinese inch is from here to here. It's bigger. And I looked at a, a meter, and a meter is 30 Chinese inches, whereas for us it's quite a bit more, it's 40, or nearly 40. But for the English, and I think it probably would work here too, that if you want to measure... Or is it um, thumb? It's the width of the thumb tells you inches. So, so an activity or based on the body itself. And if then there's something a little bit that takes a bit far. So another way is measure the size of your table in spans. Sorry, I'll do it. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight span. And the interesting thing is, to your elbow. One fathom, one yard, one L, and then two spans, each span being two hands, and then four inches to that. So you could see. Can you see this is the beginning of fractions? Mm -hmm. And so, but you do it, it's sort of still discrete. It's a halfway house to, to fractions when you can look at those things.